Fagan from the Virginia Harp Center in the New Jersey showroom. Today we're going to be doing an instructional video on how to tune a pedal harp. This video is intended for the beginning pedal harpist or perhaps their parents. We're going to start with a brief explanation about the pedals on your harp. You've probably already noticed that there are seven pedals on your harp. Each pedal corresponds with a different pitch. You'll also notice that there are different notches. We have a top one, middle, and the bottom notch. All the pedals are connected to a rod. So you have seven rods that go through the column of the harp, which is attached to the neck, uh, to the mechanism in the neck of the harp. When you move a pedal and put it in a different notch, the discs will move as well, changing the pitch of that string. Right now, the C is in the top notch, and I'm going to put it in the middle one. And you'll notice that that disc is engaged. It also raises the pitch. When I put it in the bottom notch, the bottom disc turns and makes that note even higher. The most important thing to remember when tuning your pedal harp is that you want all seven pedals to be in the top notch, so none of the discs should be engaged. Once you make sure that all your pedals are in the top notch, you're ready to begin tuning your harp. You will only need two things to tune your pedal harp. One is an electronic tuner. At our store, we use the Korg. And the second thing is your tuning key. If you're unfamiliar with the electronic tuner and the tuning key, please refer back to our first video on how to tune a lever harp, and that will demonstrate how to use both of these devices. As a refresher, I'm going to go over the pitches of each string on the harp. The red strings are C. So we have C, D, E. The black strings are F. all the way up. If we start at C and go down, it would be C, B, A, G, F, E, D, and C. It's important to know that when your pedals are in the top notch and when the discs are not engaged, it lowers the pitch by half of a step. So when you look at your electronic tuner and you play a C, you will actually see a B that comes up on the electronic tuner. When you play a D string, you will see a D flat or a C sharp. Know that these are the same exact pitch. When you play an E, you'll see an E flat or a D sharp. When you play an F, you will see an E. Your G string will be G flat or F sharp. Your A string will be A flat or G sharp. And your B string will be B flat or A sharp. The chart that I just showed you will be available as a PDF download in our blog. Next, I'd like to demonstrate tuning just a few of the strings so you can get an idea of what will show up on your electronic tuner. So we're going to start with a C string, and I'm going to play that. And you'll notice, since my pedal is in the top notch, that C is actually showing up as a B. It's a little low, so I'm going to tighten the string and move the tuning key clockwise and get it up to B. Next, I'll do the D string. And you'll notice it's showing up as a C sharp. It's a little high, so I'm going to loosen the string by turning it counterclockwise by turning the tuning key counterclockwise. Let's review. 
When tuning your pedal harp, there are two important things to remember. Number one, make sure that all seven pedals are in the top notch. In the long run, this is going to reduce the wear and tear of your strings. Number two, when your pedals are in that top notch, it lowers the pitch of the string. So the letter on your electronic tuner is going to be different. Be sure to refer to the PDF chart that you can download off of our blog. I promise over time this is going to get easier. Happy tuning!